1991, I flew to Teddy Island. The water's turquoise blue, and I'm back wild. Living in a jungle, and it looks like Thailand. Everybody's gone, go 911, darling. Met the girl on the plane, went to Water Island. Sweet like sugar cane, the girl was beguiling. Putting lots of gold, you know that I'm styling. Welcome to Tyler Vision Intense TV. I'm your host, Robert Lewis Tyler I, and today we have on a very special guest. He is the Prince of Punk, the Duke of Funk, the King of Crunk, the Mayor of Debonair, the Chairman of the Board, the Master of Disaster, the Ayatollah Rock and Roller, the Monarch of the Dark, the Earl of the World, the Line of Lebanon, the President of his residence, the Sheik of all Freaks. He is the Maharaji of Jumanji, the Masterpiece of the East. He is right here, the lead singer from MC Hammer's band, right up in here. Dre, Dre Williams, Andre Williams, yeah. How you been, man? Uh, I'm hanging in there, man. How you doing? Can you hear me okay? Yeah, I haven't seen you. In, oh, it's a beautiful background, too. You're up here like Lake Bayes or something. And, you oh, know. yeah, man. I'm out here in the woods. I was just getting ready to get some, some work done before you called me. Ah, surprise, yeah, yeah. Surprise. Yeah, yeah. Excited. And you got, you got the recording studio and you got Drinks, the nightclub up there to promote. And right, right. And you guys, you guys have been cutting down more uh, MC Hammer tours than you've been picking up, right? Well, he's getting ready for to put a big one together, so he's been he's been calming down on just the uh, the short shows. Uh, he got something big coming up. You know, he's always planning big, so right. We got a big one coming up pretty soon. Good, good. That'll be that'll be nice. Just yeah. Let the little ones go and do the big big venue, the big event. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. I did a little event down in, yeah, in Hollywood a couple weeks ago where I just sing a couple of my songs. Yeah, you know, a drinks, that nightclub, that's what I want, that's what, what everyone wants to know is the location, what you got going on, drinks, the nightclub, yeah. the promotion. Well, yeah, the lo location is up here in Lakeport, uh, Lakeport, California, and, uh, you know, we do live shows there. I do uh, uh, some live performance myself. I hope, you can, I hope you can hear me over all this traffic. Yeah. Somebody just called in. Okay, we still got it. I got gotcha. you. Somebody just called in to block me out. Yeah, it but sounds yeah, it's good. On, uh, it's on Main Street in Lakeport. Main 370 Street. South Main. 370. Yeah, 370 South Main here in 370 Lakeport. 370 South Main. And, uh, and we had uh, 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 Pato Bantan, Bantan uh, about three weeks ago. Beautiful reggae show. Nice. And, uh, uh, you know, we got some other big things coming up. Some comedy shows coming up. Boy, howdy. And, uh... You know, even my, my son to be performing there pretty soon also. Oh, Kevon. little Andre. Kevon oh, oh the other one. Out. The other son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Look, young guy. He's yeah, yeah. 20 now. He's 19. Damn. Damn. My Nobody youngest, my, my youngest so, is yeah. 23. Yeah, that is a yeah. youngster. That's cool. Yeah. And and then you got video. you guys still doing little, little karaoke? Bit. Are you guys still doing oh, karaoke wait. night? Because you know I DJ oh. karaoke too. <laughs> oh, man, you need to come up sometime then. Yeah, it's about a five-hour drive round trip, though. <laughs> it's like what, what is it? It's about a five-hour trip round round trip. Uh, and then where you at? New York now? Napa Cali Valley. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So no, so, it's only only three hours. Two three, three hours, hours there and three hours back, right? No, I'm just no, two, no, no, no. Hour and a half for you. Uh, I was playing. Yeah. 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 You know, I, like tonight, I got to go DJ over in Sonoma. So, but it's only 16 miles away. So I got that. Oh. I got that. Okay. And then, Not much of a traveler, huh? Wow, well, I got that BMW, but it's, it's got 235,000 miles on it already, you know, right? <laughs> you know, uh, so the studio, the recording studio. Yeah. Now, now um, is that, that's in Lakeport, right? That's in Lakeport, yeah. And you moved the, the studio from Woodland and combined the two of them, right? No, it was in, uh, it was in Clear Lake. I moved it from there. I moved the radio station 100.3 to Lakeport and, and also the studio. Oh shit! Up near near the new new uh, bar and grill. And this is and this is some shit I want to talk about. Are you still having any trouble with the city council or any of those mofo's up there? You know, like talking about trying to mess with you. Your, uh, I saw a couple of you know you had some issues with some people that were trying to bug out, right? Ah, uh, it's On, the city, you know. The city. It's the city. It's it's the city of Clear Lake. They're hungry for anything they could get. Yeah. So obviously they start with me, the brown yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? The only one there, yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's like it's like the only one of my kind in business. The only here, one of you know? your color in the county. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh um, so yeah, they they, they got a, a judgment to 
flatten that location, claiming that it was mold and whatever, all, all, all lies. All kinds of but bullshit. Anyway, I, yeah, still, yeah, yeah. I still own the property there, and, and Dollar General is interested in a couple other people, so I'm just going to sell the, sell the land to them right. and let them do what they let do. Them let them go with it. it. Are they, but are City they, of Clear Lake, oh, man, nothing but corruption, you yeah. know, depressing, yeah. Yeah, terrible. Yeah. They got nothing you know? better to do, you know? <laughs> right, right. And all them big fires, I guess. Over here. I guess all I'm the big. Step over here in the shade. Yeah, I, sure. I just pulled over, pulled over to holler at you for a minute. So yeah, let me yeah. get over here, man. I'll let you get I back on the up. road too. I know you got people to meet over there. People to see. Yeah, yeah. That's better. Much better. I got another call coming in. Cooler. You got it made in the shade. Something soon, man. Yeah. You know. Because uh, now now the studio, you have uh. Recording studio too available if anybody wants to do some recording, you know. Right, we have and, yeah, and, we have recording and, and production there. Yeah, we won't mention uh, any prices, uh, but we'll just make the location, you know. Yeah, and you can hear some of the work on YouTube, uh, on my son's uh, new song "Nighttime." Yeah. What what's his what's yeah, his YouTube Kevon, what's his YouTube Kevon channel? Williams. Kevon Williams. How you spell it? K E V O N Williams. And then the song is nighttime. And then on YouTube, what channel? That's it. Oh, that's the one. Okay. Yeah. K E V O N. Yeah. Williams. Right. Right. That's it's called it. nighttime. Nighttime. Yeah. Yeah. He's gonna be a cool little artist. I'm gonna check it out. I, I had you on the show here live in the studio. I got that on YouTube. I think it's uh, Tyler Vision 707, but it's like one word. And. Oh. I don't know. Some of those shows get like a lot of hits. Some of them get like 5,000 hits on the YouTube thingy. Oh, cool. I don't cool. know how many we, you, we got yet. Can you see this view from my phone? We have a delay. That's Beautiful. That's nice, yeah. man. Yeah, that looks good. That's, yeah. that's, that's, <laughs> like, that's like taking the studio outside, you know? I got, right. I got the, in the background here, I got the Napa Valley right. Cali. It's downtown. There's a bridge and the, and the, the hat building and all that, and the silos, you know. You know silos, right? right. Yeah. And all that good stuff on right. the river. All those new buildings on the river. It's a nice background. Yeah. Nice backdrop. <laughs> it's like. Oh, uh, cool. Right, yeah. right. Doesn't it look good? <laughs> no, it's, 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 it's re we're really there. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, yeah. Right. Well, yeah. Um, what time you got to make your next appointment then? You got to be there. And uh, I was on my way when you called me. Ah, uh, yeah. I better let you slide yeah. then, right? Yeah, I'm gonna have to run, get yeah. back on the road. I I'm gonna let. I didn't want to try to do it driving. I'm gonna let you go, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say till next time, and then I'm gonna invite my next guest up, maybe one of these stacks record legends if they can get it together, right? <laughs> yeah. Harvey Scales, well, Willie Hall, and. Uh, uh, oh, you know I was I was with Bolt Records for a while. When I do, worked with Harvey at oh, Fantasy Records. Uh, we was on that label doing work with the Dramatics and Gladys Knight and the, uh, 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 the Spinners and he's Lenny cool. Williams. Yeah. You know, did demos for everybody there at Fantasy. He, he, came, he, came up, he came up to the studio once live, but he got here. It was a live show, and it was almost over when he pulled up. You know, Harvey Scales, <laughs> right? And then uh, maybe... <laughs> Harvey Scales on half a time. Uh. <laughs> Harvey Snails today, but... but um, no, I just kid. Um, Harvey Scales and um, Willie Hall, the drummer from the Blues Brothers, and and I had both of them on before. And then also I was supposed to get uh, Wendell, the Music Man, Moore from L.A. But a lot of these uh, guys can't get the laptop running. Maybe I don't know. We'll see what's up. Anyway, I'll let you go. I know you got things to do. So. Okay, man. Well, we'll talk soon. Tell Harvey hello. I shall. Is he in town? No, he's he in, in Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia. It's like 4.30. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to be it live. It might be yeah, 4.30 over there. Yeah. I shall. Well, uh, you know, you should get some of these other guys. You know, Charlie Wilson coming to town and, and uh, what was it, the Whispers at, the, at Thunder Valley and the Dramatics. They'd love to stop by. Yeah, yeah. Do something. Hook me up. <laughs> or maybe you can come do it live uh, backstage or something. I could do that. That'll, yeah. that'll work. Yeah. All right, Ben. So let's talk about that. Let me know. You got it. Thanks, brother. All right, brother. Nice talking to you again. All right, have a good one.
1991, I flew to Deadly Island. The water's turquoise blue and I'm back wild. Living in a jungle and it looks like Thailand. Everybody's gone home, 911 down. Met the girl on the plane, went to water island. Sweet like sugar cane, the girl was beguiling. Put in lots of gold, you know that I'm styling. So that was Andre Williams, Dre, my homeboy. He's from California, right up here in Lakeport. He's the lead singer with MC Hammer and promoting his new nightclub drinks and his uh, recording studio, plus his tours with MC Hammer as the lead singer. My next guest is Rick Cheddar, and he's about to hook you up, kick you down, plug in, turn you on, set you up right here out of Memphis, Tennessee, radio personality. And welcome to the show, Rick. How you been? I'm good, Bobby. Thank you for having me on, my friends. Good, good to be here. You good? Good to have you. And 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 uh, I know we were going to try to get on. Um, was it Willie Hall, right? Yeah, Willie. And, yeah, Willie's. And Willie, Willie kind of tricky to get sometimes. I think you've had him on the show before, but uh, but yeah, he's uh, he, he can be a bit. He can be a little tricky, but he's a good guy. He's been on the show before, and he asked if he could come on again because the other guys were kind of trying to use him to promote their movie and. I'm like, yeah. I wanted to hear more about his movies. I mean, he was in that movie, but I mean, I want to hear more about the Blues Brothers movies and stuff like that, you know, as a Stax record legend, Isaac Hayes, and all that good stuff. So, oh, yeah. So what are your call letters? Uh, we're an internet radio station. Uh, Radio-Memphis.com is where we're at. Uh, we're, uh, we're sitting in at about 170 countries right about now. I just got off the air a little while ago. I do a morning show over here. Oh, of course, nice. we're in the time zone, so it's a little different, yeah. Radio Memphis Dash dot com is Radio Dash Memphis dot com. Say it again. Radio Dash Memphis dot com. Radio Dash Memphis dot com. And that's so that's live streaming worldwide. Yeah, it sure is. It's on twenty four seven. Yeah, nice. And you were oh, talking yeah. about a guest you just had on recently. What was her name? You said we had Carla Tom uh, in here Sunday night. Carla, of course. Uh, who who was know, it? Carla Tom. Carla Thompson. Carla Thomas. Uh, Thomas. She was yeah, she had uh, she had a hit in 1961 with G Wiz. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Nice. And also uh, the, uh, in 1966, she charted again with uh, B A B Y Baby. Nice. You remember? Yeah. You remember? Um, what what was her name? Teresa Lindsay. She had a yeah, hit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been trying to get her on the show. She goes, No, I don't want the camera. She's she's uh, <laughs> she's, you know, I, and I go, I love that song's Daddy O Dean 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 Dean. Daddy O. And she goes, I hate that song. I go, why? She goes, it's the worst song. And I go, why? Because she was in the studio and they made her, this other girl was trying to sing it and she couldn't do it. So she goes, they said, go show her how to do it. So she went and showed her how to do it and they go, forget her, you're doing it. And she's pissed <laughs> off, man, because she didn't like that song. I'm like, that's the best song you ever did. Because that's the worst, right? You know. Yeah, it's funny when you, when you talk to an artist that has a hit record, you know, how often, it's a good question. You know, do they get sick of their own material because they're playing it constantly? I mean, it's a, I think it's a viable question. And, and, and yeah, the answer is yes. It, yes. It, it, it get sick of it, you know? it, it, can get, it can get old, especially when you're practicing it and you're on stage uh, and you're singing it and you're in rehearsal and you're recording it and you're singing the lyrics, you know, and all that. After a while, it's like, ah, you know, right? I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm done with this and let's move on. Let's make another record. Right? So it, it, gets, it, gets, it can get old within a year, <laughs> maybe less. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. And and then you got to get a new record. You got to memorize all the lyrics from your old record to perform on stage. Then you got to memorize all the lyrics from your new record. Because when you just write it and you go in the studio and you record it, well, you haven't memorized all the lyrics. You just wrote them. <laughs> it's, uh, it's like, you know, I think it's bring up a good point, Bobby. I think there's a lot of acts that actually had teleprompters on uh, on the stage. <laughs> You know, I think Mick Jagger's been known to do that here a late. But you know, you got to give him a pass. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's cool. <laughs> the teleprompter. Cool. We have a teleprompter here, but I only used it once, and yeah. and I used it to say, "Welcome to Television Intense TV." I'm your host, Robert Louis Salford. I'm like, wait a minute, I can remember that. I know who I am, right? You know, <laughs> shit. I don't need the teleprompter, but I, you type it in, and, and it and it plays back on a mirror, you know. Yeah. And yeah. We, got, we got that ability. We got we got 130 thousand dollars worth of new equipment here in the studio just recently. That's so, good. That's nice good. new cameras and 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 a new technical. Technical directing booth, technical directing booth. Yeah, so we've got that going for us, you know. That's and great. Hey, uh, any, any place my listeners in the Memphis area can find your show online? Yeah, yeah. If you want to see live streaming, I'm on at 10 o'clock at night on Sunday and Monday, which would be like about one in the morning your time. 
Yeah. <laughs> and that would be at NapaValleyTV.org. Yeah. Or you can go on my YouTube station and watch it right away. Like this will be on in an hour. Right on, on Pinterest, Google, LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, blah, blah, Twitter, blah, blah, Twitter, all that good. And, and that's going to be at Tyler Vision 707, one word. Tyler Vision 707, one word on YouTube. And you can watch this show within about an hour. You know, I'll have it all compressed, uploaded. Might not be on TV for a couple months because I'm so, I got so much talent going on, right? So. You know, you're you're so connected in talent, man. You you just you just oozing, man. You got a, you got a lot going on over there, Bobby. Well, I got a lot of people like asking to come on, like like Willie Hall. I said, can I come on the show again? And I'm like, yes, I'd be glad to have you on the show again, right? You know. Well, we'll get, you, we'll get are, Willie in this. Yeah, I'm like, so. are you? I'm like, are you kidding me? Of course, I would like to have you. You know, right? And and so I got a lot of a lot of people from L.A. and and Memphis and and Atlanta and and uh, all over. Uh, the world that, that have been asking to come on the show. So it's a good thing. That it's better to have too much talent than not enough talent, I think. You know. Oh, I agree. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's easier to kind of make some cuts than be begging for, for somebody else, you know, some hump like me coming on. Nah, shut up. Get out of this village. <laughs> <laughs> Hell with that shit. Now, we, yeah, it's late night. We can cuss on this show. So I know, <laughs> just, they, might, they might bleep me. And like, no, I'm, no, I don't think so. <laughs> 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 they dare not. No, I'm just kidding. So, yeah. So, so your call letters are again. Um, uh, we're radio-memphis.com. It's a it's a twenty four hour radio station here. We're sitting in the studio that I'm sitting in right now is the actual uh, control room for uh, uh, for the radio station. But just behind me, uh, uh, on the other side of this wall, is our tracking room. We have a full recording studio in here now. Oh, nice. Yeah, and this used to be this has been a this this facility has been a recording studio since about nineteen sixty five. Charlie Charlie Rich was a big part of this area. Oh, pardon, R.L. Burnside did the Mr. Wizard record down here, and Duck Dunn yeah, yeah. From, the, from Booker T and the MGs, yeah, yeah. He, he produced a bunch of stuff out of this room, so that, we're we're honored to have uh, have this room now. now didn't great. he didn't he pass away? Rec yeah, he died rec in, recently. Uh, he died in Japan a few years ago. A couple now. years ago, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah, yeah. And, and and then uh, Matt Guitar Murphy died a, a recently, just like a couple, yeah. month ago or something, you know. Man. I didn't realize how old he was. And, I didn't uh, either. He was 88, man, and, and he looked so young, and he's got these yeah, he's big muscles. Great. He's all strong, you know, and everything, right? You know. Oh yeah, he looked great. You know, he, he of course he looked great in the movie, and just and you know that guy played with everybody, man. Yeah. He was he played with Albert King. He played with BB King. He played with everybody. Probably man. Isaac Hayes too. You never know. I, I'm sure he did. Yeah. Probably. You know, everybody was with Isaac Hayes, right? You know, Ronnie Hudson, Harvey Scales, Willie Hall, all these guys. Perform with Isaac Hayes, right? You know. Yeah, a couple of weeks ago we had uh, Harold Bean in here. Harold, uh, he played all the guitar stuff for a Hot Buttered Soul. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I Isaac. remember them. Yeah. And it also had gone on to play with uh, George Clinton in Parliament Funkadelic. Oh he yeah, off yeah. Some time ago, yeah. Cool. Yeah, I had skyped in um, uh, Bootsy Collins on the show, right? Well, I thought, oh, yeah. I thought it was him. It was his promoter. And he had the same glasses and the hair and everything. <laughs> and this crazy cat. And he was all promoting it. Had the posters and all this stuff in the background and flying saucers. And it wasn't him. <laughs> I was like, it was, but, you know, I thought it was, uh, it looked like him. <laughs> so it's, but but it, it was. When Bootsy can't do an interview, he, he sings in. He it was, it was one of the guys that promotes all his stuff for him, you know, and stuff like that. Right. And so I was like, it was a pretty wild interview. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Bet it was, yeah. yeah right. That was cool. Yeah, but um, Ronnie Hudson should be coming up here from L.A. He, he's not to do the show or not to record or not to perform. He just wants to hang out for a little while. But, right if, I, but if I have a show going that week, I'll pull him in the studio, you know, and, and do a little sure. another, another interview. We did two. We could do three, I think. You know, you know I want to get all these old cats while they're, while they're still kicking, right, you know. You know, and not only are they still kicking, you know, they still feel like they've got some uh, something to say. So they're they're ready to get back into the studio and make more records, and and they're and they're also really reaching out to the youngsters out there. You know, the younger musicians that wanna that wanna learn the craft, work with them as best as they can. So right. you know, it's it's pretty cool. You know that guy? What's his name? I think um, Jet Skyler or something like that. What's he with Earth, Wind, and Fire or somebody like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. just found out he lives here in Napa. Oh, he does. Yeah, he lives here in Napa. So I sent him a friend request, right? 
You know, I wanted, yeah. I wanted to get Robin Williams on the show. I wanted to get uh, Ray Manzarek on the show, the keyboard player from The Doors. Well, these guys are dying on me, you know, left and right. You know, I want to, they live here in Napa, and I wanted to get them on, and boom, 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 people are, like, dying off, and I'm like, I want to get uh, all these interviews, you know, so they can say what they have to say before they can't say it, you know, before it's not left unsaid. Oh, uh, absolutely. You know, uh, it, it, we're in that, we're in rest that in peace, but time that, you know, all these guys that made this fantastic music over the years, it, you know, it's the, the natural course of time, they all, they get old, you know, and. And, right. uh, you know, they just, you know, they're starting to go away. And it's sad. It really is sad. Well, Harvey Skills had a minor stroke a couple weeks ago, but he's doing good now. His voice is back. He's singing good. and stuff. So it's going I'm on. glad to hear it. Yeah, yeah. Next time I'm out in Napa, I'm going to come look you up, Bobby. I'm going to come Yeah, you, you can stop by here, man. It's like we got 500 wineries, you know, and uh, I don't drink, but they got wine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll drink for you, Bobby. It'll yeah, yeah. Good. Get some Cabernet Sauvignon, some Merlot, a little Gewürztraminer, you know. Yeah, but you know, the, the food out there is pretty good, too. You guys got some pretty special stuff out there. Yeah, I guess 500 wineries, you know, I mean, uh, world-renowned for, for the grapes. I took uh, the, the uh, middleweight champion of the world. I took him for a little tour up here in the valley in the grapes and the wineries. Um, right. Yeah, Julian Jackson. Julius Jackson and, and Julian Jackson are both the middleweight champions of the world. Him and his dad. Um, dad, the hardest punching man in history. So, oh, really? Yeah, yeah. So, he's, uh, yeah, if you, if you look up who's the hardest punching man in history, it'll come up, right? So, as a middleweight champion. You, know. you didn't pick a fight with him, I I, you know, we always pose like this, but, you know, <laughs> we're like, ah. But, you know, he, he, would, he would probably kick my ass. Since yeah. he's half my age, right? Probably not even that. He's probably a third, my, a third my age, maybe. You know, right? right, right. Not his dad, but him. You know, so it's Ju Julius Jackson and Julian Jackson, couple, yeah. couple of world champs. There, they're cool boutiques. They're from St. Thomas down in the Caribbean. So yeah, yeah, beautiful place. I've been down there. It's wonderful. When did you go? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it's been a while. It's been a long time, but uh, you know, I, I did the touristy uh, touristy thing there and but, uh, what, I fell in love. With down there I was the probably were, there because I lived there off and on. What what year you think it might have been? Uh, it was sometime in the eighties, man. It was, okay, uh, I was there. I wasn't there till ninety one. Yeah. So yeah. I was the guy with the the tropical birds on the shoulder, and looked like this, you know. And then what what I would do is, yeah, I, I would uh, take pictures with the tourists and sell. That's no, on, that's on my album too. cover too, and yeah, then I, I, I would I would sell pic, uh, pictures to the tourists and stuff. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you go. I got about three minutes left to do some shout outs, maybe two minutes. So I'm gonna let I you go. And I appreciate you being Bobby. on the show. I appreciate it. Thank you so very much, my friend. Thank you. Be sure to tune in to his radio show. Give us the call letters once again. It's radio-memphis.com. Radio Thank That's you. That's it, man. Come see All right, me. I will see you until next time. You bet. Be All good. Right. All right, Rick. So I got a couple shout outs I want to do right about now. Anyway, uh, guests of the television show stay in altered states. Transportation provided by Space Shuttle. I'd like to thank our guests, Rick Cheddar. Nothing could be better, right? Dre Williams. Andre, the lead singer from MC Hammer, right here. And we want to say uh, sorry out to Willie Hall. Couldn't make it today. They tried to get it running. Also, Harvey Scales and Mrs. Philip K. Dick in the house, not. So anyway, I'd like to thank our sponsors real quick. Sal the Flower Guy, Hair in Motion, Dr. Trophy Shop, Emmy Lou's Diner. God bless you and yours. Until next time, America, I'm pretty much we're out of here. In 1991, I flew to Delhi Island. The water's turquoise blue, and I'm back wild. Living in a jungle, and it looks like Thailand. Everybody's gone home, 911 down. Let the girl on the plane. Went to water islands, we like sugar cane. The girl was beguiling. Putting lots of gold, you know that I'm styling. Never gets cold, emerald green on a white sea. Island, you are beautiful. Sapphire seas. Went in 
into business with Jackie and the birds taking pictures with the tourists making money absurd Freddy got shot Freddy said you heard right through the heart and then he said his last words me copy was in was that four days later